Hello and welcome to another episode of Passing It On. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to make a simple braised kalabash curry. So the ingredients for the kalabash curry is quite simple. We've got the chopped up kalabash into cubes. I have um, onion that's chopped up green chili you can add a red chili if you'd like half a teaspoon of mustard seeds half a teaspoon of jeera seeds and here i have salt to taste and about a teaspoon of turmeric powder so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make kalabash curry firstly i'm going to show you how to cut up the kalabash this is what a kalabash looks like the easiest way to clean it, cut off the ends and make them into pieces. And then you can cut them into smaller pieces. And then peel off the skin. And the way to do that is to cut the rest of them into cubes, like how you would cut potato. So that's what it looks like. Now usually we would use newspaper when we are cutting and cleaning our vegetables. And now because of COVID and it being dangerous, we are not using newspaper in the kitchen at all. We can use a chopping board. Or just use your counter okay and that's what it looks like and we're going to continue until the rest of the kalabash is cut up so in a pot i've put enough oil to coat the bottom of the pot we're going to check if the oil is hot by putting in a piece of onion once it sizzles you know that that oil is ready i'm going to start by adding the onion and then the jira and the mustard seed and let that go a bit and then I'm going to add the chili it's nice flutter a bit let's watch Taste. Give it a few minutes to brown. And I'm going to add the turmeric salt to taste. Give it a mix. And then add the calabash. If you've got curry leaf, you can add that as well. I don't have curry leaf, so we're going to do it out. And you can add half a tomato as well. That's completely optional. You can just mix. And we're going to bring the heat down. No water. It's going to breathe very slowly. We're going to cover it and come back to it in a few minutes. And I'll let you know what it looks like. So when we check the curry after about five minutes, you will see that the water has come out of the calabash. We haven't added any water, so it's cooking nicely. So no need to add any water now. It's going to cook on its own on low heat. So we're going to cover it and allow it to simmer and cook for a further five to ten minutes. Now we check the curry again. So you can see that all the water has dried up nicely and the oil has come up. That's how you know that the curry is done. So it's time to plate up. And that's our tasty kalabash curry that is ready. Hope you enjoy.